And this is a story that has a lot of people talking. A secure nuclear facility, a team of activists, and an overnight break-in. These seven men and women are between the ages of 55 and 78. And somehow, they slipped past security to vandalize the Kings Bay Naval Submarine Base in St. Mary's, Georgia. And that is where we find First Coast News reporter Eric Alvarez live tonight. Eric? Well, those activists are with a group called Kings Bay Plowshares. Right now, no one from the base is going on camera to answer questions about how this group got in. But what we do know right now is why the group got in. The Kings Bay Plowshares activists claim they slipped past security to vandalize the submarine base with signs, spray paint, and even their own blood to spread a message of peace. People of conscience saying the world would be better without nuclear weapons. Brian Hines and Jessica Stewart identify themselves as Catholic workers, a network of church leaders and members supporting the activists who on Wednesday night targeted the administration building, the D-5 missile monument and nuclear weapon storage bunkers, expecting to be arrested and thrown in jail, all to spread their message. The weapons at this base could um, blow up the entire world many times over. Elizabeth McAllister of Maryland, Steve Kelly of California, Mark Corville of Connecticut, Patrick O'Neill of North Carolina, and Carmen Trotta, Claire Grady, and Martha Hennessy, all of New York, now face felony charges and are being held without bond at the Camden County Jail. So how did seven people between the ages of 55 and 78 get in? I would put that on the base. If the base can't keep people 55 to 78 from walking into a nuclear um, bunker and and wandering around the base for several hours that's uh, something they're gonna have to answer for I don't know I don't know the group tells me this is not the first time the plowshares movement has gotten inside a secure military facility and this is also not the first time some of these seven activists have spent time behind bars new tonight at six why this group decided to strike on the 50th anniversary of the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Live in Kings Bay, Eric Alvarez, First Coast News, on your side.